wrinkles. I don't want to have wrinkles. My face is my canvas. I need my skin to be perfect for my videos. And look what happened. They said that if I set it to the lowest, it wouldn't burn. Just kidding. <laughs> Hello Halloween lovers, makeup lovers. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here again with me. And welcome if you are new, a very, very big. Thank you if you decide to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below. And if you do, please click the bell as well so you don't miss any of my new videos. Speaking of which, I am releasing a new video every day during October because it's Halloween and I went crazy and I did one makeup a day. So yeah, if you want to see them all, check out the previous ones and come back tomorrow. Today I'm doing this, obviously. It's um, an SFX gory makeup inspired by... Her name is... Sh oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Shauna Scott. <laughs> I'll put a link to her YouTube down below in the video description. I was 100% inspired by her tutorial. It's the only one I could find and the best one because it's the only one. <laughs> Captain Obvious! It's me. And so yeah, <laughs> the makeup is inspired by Shauna. Shauna? Shauna Scott. I hope I said it right. And without further ado, I'm going to let you watch it and I'll see you at the end of the tutorial. So, I'm ready to start, but I'm a little bit worried because I don't exactly have all the products I need. Oops, I'm worried. Something is wrong with my camera. I think I need to change it. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm excited about the makeup, but I'm also a little bit worried because I don't exactly have the exact products that I need for it because I watched a tutorial on how to do it and she uses a product that looks like wax. But she doesn't call it wax, so I don't know what it is. It also look like, looks like Play-Doh. So I have Play-Doh, but I don't know if Play-Doh will work. So I'm a bit worried. But if it doesn't work out, I can always paint everything and not use any SFX products. So it's all good. I'm excited today. I'm hyper. So I'm going to moisturize because my skin is super dry, as usual. I'm using a new product. I absolutely love it. It's called Vanilla Pod. I, uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Vanilla Pod Hydrating Day Cream, Manuka Honey, Rose Hip and Vinanza Grape, New Zealand, and to pose, connect with nature. I like that because I love nature more than makeup itself. And that's saying something. So let's hydrate. <laughs> again because they look dirty oh well okay now I'm gonna put on a primer and that's all because <laughs> I've had enough of explaining why I'm using a primer I don't want to annoy you by repeating the same things all the time if you don't know why I'm using a primer watch my previous videos <laughs> all of them Oopsie. I love doing this. It's like magic. Um, so now I'm putting, I'm putting, I don't know. I'm going to put on foundation. Sorry, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do it again like a normal person. I'm going to put on foundation. It's a bit boring though, isn't it? When I'm normal. And what's normal, right? Yes, it's a lot of foundation. I know. All right, let's use a beauty blender. I'm gonna put on some music first. Now I'm going to fix my eyebrows. Try to fix them at least. I'm not a big pro when it comes to eyebrows and I'm not a big fan of doing my eyebrows anyway. So all I do is I brush them so they don't look too messy and then I fill in the areas that don't have hairs anymore with a dark brown eyeshadow. And that is it. I'm too bright and blurry. Perfect. Stop. Sometimes I use black but it tends to really really look a bit harsh, make 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 my <laughs> makes my eyes look really sharp. So sorry, I burped. So instead I started using this brown here. I like it better, but maybe in a few months I will hate it. So now let's do some contouring. I'm using this palette and I will go with this one. And now I'm using the highlighter, and it's a super, super light one, but it's gonna be okay. <gasps> yeah, super light. 
<laughs> Let's highlight the cupid's bow. Blush, I always forget the blush. <laughs> I don't wear blush in my everyday life, so I always forget to put it on when I do makeups. And I know you're supposed to put it before the highlight, but it doesn't really matter in the end, honestly. So I'm gonna put on the blush. I have this palette here, it's really pretty. And um, hmm. <laughs> maybe this one? No. Don't be blurry! <laughs> to move on to the eyes. I'm gonna do my magic trick now because I love it so much. So I'm starting with a primer. Okay, let's put on the lashes now. I'm using my favorite lashes by Addison Lashes. They're beautiful. If you don't know them, you can find them on Google. I'll put a link to them in the video description. All right, so for the lips, I want to do something super simple, super natural, if that is possible, <laughs> because my eyes are very already done and I don't like having a lot of makeup on my eyes and a lot of makeup on my lips. So, oh god, my lips are so dry. Now I'm going to hydrate my lips a little bit with my chapstick, which is here and it is slightly um, tinted, colored, so it's gonna give my lips a pink, reddish color. And now all I will do is put on this gloss and it's called Chromatic Duo Shimmer Lip Gloss and it's, well it's got a golden color and I think it's gonna go well with my eye color, um, I like my eye makeup. Now I can move on to the gory part of this makeup. I'm excited! Alright, so I'm ready. I'm spitting. Okay, it's okay. I'm ready to start the um, SFX gory part of the makeup. I'm gonna start by using this and I am putting it in the middle of my forehead and with spirit gum. I'm going to follow the edges of my paper iron. I hope I don't mess it up. Alright, don't put too much because you always do. Now comes the tricky part. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dare use the Play-Doh. I hope it's gonna work. I'm scared. So I'm gonna roll the Play-Doh between my hands and put it on the glue, on the lines that I just made with glue. Please pray for me. I hope it works. I don't know how to do this. And then I'm going to flatten the edges. I just hope that I can cover this pink color with my foundation. I really hope so. So I am starting to flatten the edges against my skin. 
and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to apply a layer of latex so that, I don't know, it kind of makes sure that it blends in with my real skin and also so I can paint over it and hopefully <laughs> cover this very bright pink. I'm gonna let the latex dry and apply foundation. In the meantime, I'm going to, because I forgot to do it, I'm going to use this again and roughly sketch where the rest of my wound, my burn, is going to be on my cheeks. Guys, I'm super scared <laughs> that my foundation doesn't cover the pink Play-Doh. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and create the imprint of the iron. So I am going to put on some glue first. I am shaping the nodules with my nails and giving them a, a little like a diamond shape so that it looks a bit more realistic, more like uh, the imprints of the iron. Okay, so now we can move on to the painting of the burn and I'm going to start by painting the inside. I'm going to mix two colors, purple and brown. This is the color that we get. using the same color and I'm gonna add it with my finger this time so I make sure that I don't put too much. And if I'm logical, my, my nose should be burnt as well. <laughs> I'm going to highlight here a little bit so it looks more real and more 3D. To highlight, I'm using a cream concealer. And now I'm going to darken the edge, but the inside of the wound. So I want to add some bruises on this side because since I was hit more like roughly on this side, it's logical that I should have a bruise uh, around the side. So I have a little bruise here, a little on my cheek, and I want, yeah, I want a bruise here. So for the bruise, I'm not going to use the cream paint, I'm going to use eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the same purple eyeshadow I just used um, here. Maybe I will add a little bit of paint, I guess. I need a little bit here. Alright, so I'm going to give more dimension to the wounds by creating bruises this time brown and I'm going to apply the powder all around the uh, imprint of the iron here and a little bit here. Alright, so I decided to add a couple more eyeshadows to my wound, this orange and this yellow-ish. And I'm just randomly tapping them over the red because you know how when you cut yourself or you burn yourself and you see the skin, it's not just red, it's also a little bit yellow and orange because there is fat and fat has a different color, the muscles have a different color, and the blood also has a different color depending on if it's old or, you know, or like fresh. So I'm just trying to have this more realistic finish and blending the two colors and tapping it on my face. Because this is almost the end. The next step is going to be the fake blood. I can't believe I'm already finished.
forgot to highlight in this here. I'm using cream concealer and the lightest color I have. I said I was gonna keep my desk clean. I lied to myself. Okay, blurry. <gasps> Last step, fake blood. I'm using a serum-based blood, stage blood, because it doesn't dry, so it has this realistic, glossy, and stickiness. I'm going to apply it with my fingers so I don't put too much. And also because it runs, because it's liquid, so it's easier to put less than too much. I got burnt on my whole face. I should probably have a wound on my mouth. Maybe I will add it at the end. And let's do the same on this part. So I'm removing the line that I drew earlier at the beginning of the video because it doesn't look good, it doesn't look realistic. I just want to have some like bruises and burnt skin. Now I'm going to create the burn on my lips. It's not going to take very long, I just want to add some purple powder and then fake blood. Alright, well if it runs it's going to look realistic I guess. And I think I'm finished. mom and say, mom, I have a problem with your iron. She's gonna believe me. She's gonna scream. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Can you tell I'm happy? <laughs> I am super happy because I've been wanting to do this makeup for ages, years, ever since I first saw it on YouTube. I think that was five years ago. And I finally did it and I'm proud because I didn't have the, the products to do it, but I just did with what I had and it proves you can do anything if you put your heart into it. So I'm really, really happy. The result looks so cool and, and, and painful and, and a little bit gory, but fun. So yeah, I'm happy. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and had fun watching it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment and a subscribe and share. Anything you want will make me happy. And just knowing that you watched made me happy already so thank you very much i'm going to post tomorrow's makeup in just a few hours on instagram so make sure you're following me over there as well and i will see you tomorrow with another halloween makeup thank you for watching take care and see you tomorrow bye